Hey guys, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about some of the top reasons you might wanna be supplementing more zinc. Zinc is an essential trace mineral, meaning that it's a mineral our bodies cannot produce on its own. Therefore, we need to acquire it either through our diet or supplementation. Now, as a trace mineral, we only need a small or trace amount of zinc. And despite its small dietary requirements, dietary zinc plays a huge role in our overall health. In fact, there's over 300 different enzymatic reactions dependent on dietary zinc. And it plays huge roles in everything from detoxification, immune function, the assimilation of our food or digestion. It plays roles in metabolism, as well as DNA repair and synthesis, and even hormonal productions or secretions. Now, according to statistics, about 12% of people are at risk for zinc deficiency, of course, with discrepancies and variations depending on location and region. Nevertheless, that puts about 12% of people on the planet at risk for health problems with all of these areas in which it plays major roles in. Now, you might be thinking that 12% of the world population isn't a very large number. However, that that's 924 million people, roughly. So that's a large amount of people at risk for immunodeficiencies, hormonal imbalances, metabolic issues, digestive issues, etc. And perhaps something even more important than this number alone is the fact that our need for dietary zinc increases variably depending on stress, depending on hormonal imbalances, so estrogen can increase your need for zinc, as well as overall stress or low immune function, as well as a variety of other hormonal imbalances, your age, and other factors that basically affect the quality of your health. So in fewer words, depending on how healthy you are or how stressed you are, or even your age, can greatly determine how much zinc you might need. And this can change incrementally too. So if you're incredibly stressed out during a certain period of your life, or if you have a virus or a viral infection or something a compromise in your immune function, this can greatly increase your need for dietary zinc. So although conventional wisdom might say that a zinc deficiency is difficult to come by unless you live in a third world country, given the increased rise of symptoms like immunodeficiencies, poor digestion, metabolic issues, and a variety of other symptoms of zinc deficiency, along with the increasingly stressful nature of our environment, specifically the increased rise of estrogenic substances that increase the production or the storage of copper in the body, which depletes zinc, as well as the overall depletion of our food quality, specifically lacking in the minerals that it once had, all these things, in my opinion at least, greatly increase the overall need for dietary zinc. Now, I would say that the best way to know for sure if you have a zinc deficiency would be to get some sort of lab work. However, from my understanding, as the world grows sicker and more ill, a lot of the lab work is changed to meet different standards. So what might be considered a zinc deficiency 50 years ago uh, might not be considered the same today. So I would imagine that by the standards of health 50 years ago, most of us today are probably zinc deficient. And again, that's just based on the increasingly stressful nature of the modern world, as well as the obvious nutritional and specifically mineral deficits in our foods. So with that being said, perhaps an even more reliable way of determining whether you're struggling with the zinc deficiency is just to take a look at some of the common symptoms of a zinc deficiency. And then from there, implement more dietary zinc rich foods and supplements and see if those symptoms start to go away. This would be obviously a good way of determining whether or not that this was the issue. So with that being said, some of the major symptoms of a zinc deficiency are going to really be symptoms of hormonal imbalances, metabolic issues, poor digestion, as well as poor detoxification. And some of the major symptoms or ways that imbalances in these systems manifest are first and foremost in the skin. The skin is highly reflective of the digestive system and the hormonal system. So oftentimes when those systems are imbalanced, you're gonna run into a variety of skin issues, everything from acne to dermatitis. Other symptoms could be problems with your hair. So thinning hair or hair loss or just any problems with the quality of your hair. Again, this is due to the hormonal imbalances, specifically in the thyroid and in the adrenals that can be created by zinc deficiency. Another major symptom of a zinc deficiency is going to be problems with the reproductive system. So that could be everything from reproductive issues like infertility to low sex drive or low libido. And this is again because of the hormonal influence of zinc. Zinc plays a huge enzymatic role in the production of testosterone, a major sex steroid or sex androgen that's responsible not just for fertility health, but also a strong healthy sex drive. You might also suffer from some sort of vision issues as well as depression or anxiety or other mental or mood imbalances which have their hands or their roots in hormonal imbalances. So oftentimes when the hormonal system is imbalanced, there's a 
higher level of stress hormones that attribute to depression and anxiety. Again, this could be corrected by zinc by increasing the production of androgen hormones. And last but definitely not least, perhaps the number one symptom of a zinc deficiency is going to be immunodeficiency. So reoccurring sicknesses, always getting colds or flus, or just generally having a low or weak immune system. And again, that's because zinc plays a huge role in the enzymatic production of a variety of different immune cells. So oftentimes a zinc deficiency results in poor immune cell production and therefore a weak or low immune function. So now with all of this in mind, I wanna give you a few of the top or major reasons that you should be supplementing more zinc. Now, as we just mentioned, perhaps the major reason is because we live in an increasingly stressful world that has a negative impact on our immune function. Stress directly weakens the immune system, therefore resulting in a wide variety of diseases. Because ultimately, if you wanna be healthy, you just need a healthy immune system. But that's dependent on a strong, fast, robust metabolism, good digestion, good detoxification, and therefore good immune function. So perhaps the number one reason you might wanna start taking more dietary zinc is to increase your immune defenses. So as I mentioned earlier, zinc plays an enzymatic role in the production of immune cells. It specifically assists the thymus gland, which is important for immune function, in producing a variety of different important immune cells. And there's a variety of different studies that show that dietary zinc supplementation can directly increase the defenses of the immune system by basically supporting the enzymatic production of various immune cells, specifically through the thymus gland. The second major reason you might want to take more zinc is to ensure proper hormonal balance. You need dietary zinc to produce all the important hormones in your body, specifically thyroid hormone, testosterone, progesterone, and even regulating estrogen. Not to mention that dietary zinc ensures healthy receptor sites for all of these hormones throughout the various tissues and organs in your body. So if you have a deficiency in zinc, not only can you run into a thyroid, progesterone, testosterone deficiency, which would cause a dramatic increase in the stress hormones like estrogen, but it can also lead to the poor reception or receiving of these hormones. So let's say you are producing some thyroid hormone, if you don't have the proper receptor sites in the various tissues, organs, and cells in your body, then those areas cannot uptake that hormone and utilize it. So zinc is a really simple way to increase the production of all the protective hormones in your body, which would also decrease the production of stress hormones and therefore achieve proper hormonal balance, which is basically all about increasing protective androgen anti-stress hormones and lowering the catabolic stress hormones. The third major reason you might want to be consuming more zinc is due to its pro-metabolic effects as well as its ability to increase digestive function. So in the body, digestion precedes metabolism. Nevertheless, they are interrelated. So if the metabolic rate slows, this can slow digestion as well and the secretion of digestive enzymes and juices. Now looking first at the digestive system, zinc plays important enzymatic roles in the digestion or the breaking down of your macronutrients, your basic substrates, which are proteins, fats, and carbs. Now, if you can't break down proteins into amino acids, fats into fatty acids or glycerols, if you can't break down carbohydrates into glucose, then your metabolic system or your metabolism can't utilize those and basically produce energy. So in this way, not only does zinc support digestion, it also ensures proper metabolism. So a deficiency in zinc can lead to the poor breaking down of your macronutrients, which could lead to a wide variety of issues, not just metabolic issues, but digestive issues like malabsorption. It can lead to leaky gut due to the bacterial overgrowth of poorly broken down macronutrients, as well as a variety of other issues. So if you're suffering from any sort of digestive issues, one simple thing that you could try doing is increase your intake of dietary zinc, not just supplemental zinc, but making sure you're getting an adequate amount through your diet. The last major reason you might wanna be taking more zinc is due to its effects on the dopamine system. So zinc is actually an incredible cofactor for the production of dopamine. So it's dopamogenic in other words, it can increase the production of dopamine. So not only can zinc increase the production of dopamine, which would result in a overall sense of well-being, feeling good, and increasing your sense of pleasure or happiness, it's also gonna be highly protective to a wide variety of neurological disorders that are associated with the depletion of zinc. And the way it does it is by antagonizing copper. So copper and zinc, if you watch the video on copper toxicity, have an antagonizing relationship with one another. So if you keep your zinc levels high, you'll keep copper low. And if copper gets out of hand, if it becomes excessive, it can play a major role in converting dopamine into more stressful chemicals like adrenaline and norepinephrine, which can contribute to neurological disorders like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, but it can, on the short term, result in anxiety, restlessness, the poor ability to focus, pay attention, etc. So by increasing your intake of dietary zinc, you'll prevent this from occurring by keeping copper in a normal, healthy range. In addition to that, Dopamine plays a major role in 
inhibiting the production of a hormone called prolactin. Now, if you've watched my videos on prolactin, you'll know that prolactin, although helpful during pregnancy and nursing, is more or less a stress chemical. When it's chronically elevated, it's commonly associated with a large variety of degenerative issues. It plays a major role in hair loss by suffocating the hair follicle from uptaking glucose, oxygen, as well as thyroid hormone. Prolactin generally opposes the production of proper thyroid function, which will result in fatigue, low energy, and a wide variety of issues, basically all the symptoms of hypothyroid and metabolic issues. And prolactin can also increase the production of parathyroid hormone, which can rob your bones of calcium, leading to osteoporosis as well as tooth loss or dental issues. So zinc's dopaminogenic effects are not there just to increase your sense of well-being. They play major physiological roles in ensuring good overall health. And these are just a few examples. So those are the major benefits of zinc I wanted to talk to you about today. There's of course many. Ultimately, you could tie in zinc to a wide variety or an endless list of health benefits because of its effects on the four major systems in the body. It plays major roles in digestion, metabolism, immunity, as well as detoxification. So those are all the major system systems in the body. If those are functioning properly, you're going to be healthy. If they're not functioning properly, you're going to be unhealthy. It's pretty simple. Now, before we close the video, I do just want to say that zinc is not some sort of magic bullet or wonder supplement. You're not just going to start supplementing zinc and all of your health problems go away. But it does play a huge role in correcting a lot of the imbalances that are leading to the wide variety of diseases and health imbalances that people are experiencing today. So something as simple as increasing your intake of dietary zinc, modifying your diet to do that, could be a simple but dramatic way to improve your overall health. And for some people, it just might be the missing link. Now, with that in mind, of course, you're probably wondering at this point, where do I get dietary zinc? Do I take a supplement? Do I get it through food or diet? What are the best foods? Now, supplementing zinc is something that's difficult to do. I don't highly recommend supplementing most minerals because, for example, if you get a free mineral form of any sort of mineral, they can be more oxidative and do more harm than good. And also, it's really important to have proper mineral balance. So increasing your intake of one mineral over the other can result in issues perhaps if you don't know the exact levels at which you're at. So the safer way, and I think the smarter and more effective way always with supplementing is trying to get whatever it is that you're lacking through your diet. Now because of our lacking food quality, this is sometimes easier said than done. Zinc is again one of those minerals that's highly deficient in most of our foods today. So you're probably not gonna get the adequate amount of zinc that you need just through normal diet. You're going to need to supplement a few specialty foods. The two most richest sources are going to be grass-fed beef liver and oysters. Now for the average person, these aren't going to be very appealing or appetizing. However, I would look at these two foods as more or less a supplement. They contain a wide variety of vitamins, minerals, and other cofactors that are often missing in common average foods. However, if these two foods seem completely unappealing to you, the third thing that I'd recommend for increasing your dietary zinc is the tonic herb polyrachis ant. Yes, it's a black ant that's been turned into a supplement form. It's a powdered form. You don't really taste anything. It's not gross. It doesn't look like ants. However, this has been used throughout traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years due to its androgenic effects, mostly because of its high mineral content and its high quality bioavailable zinc. It contains, from my understanding, the most bioavailable zinc on the planet. So it's even richer than beef liver and oysters because you can get so much in such a small concentrated amount. So this is a premium sexual tonic and energy tonic because of the energizing qualities and the hormonal effects that dietary zinc can have on the body. So if you are not interested in consuming any sort of oysters or beef anytime in your life, then I would highly recommend supplementing with polyrachis black ant. You can easily mix it into smoothies and coffee and other foods and not taste it at all, but at least you're ensuring you're getting that dietary zinc that you might not be getting in any of your other foods. However, that does bring this video to a close. If you guys found it helpful and you've enjoyed it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos. And lastly, if you're interested in supplementing with or learning any more about the polyrachis black ant, its zinc content, and its other health benefits on the body, then head to our online tonic herb shop in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.